Hello, friends. This is Sean, the Customer Success Manager with Product Customizer. Uh, recording a quick video here to show you how uh, upcharge costs that are associated with our product options in our app, how they display and function on any store. Uh, first and foremost, this is our demo store for Product Customizer. This is just a dummy store that we set up to show our users some examples of what different products might look like using our uh, custom product options, additional fields. Um, for this one, I'm going to use our logo team T, which is again, just a dummy product. Uh, on this product, we are showing you what is possible, at least a brief snapshot of what's possible using our premium app plan. And the premium app plan gives you the ability to attach any upcharge amount, as you can see here, $399, $499, uh, along with any of these product fields. So if I'm a customer and I'm going into this store and I'm about to order this t-shirt, uh, let's say I want to upload a logo in the front for an extra $399. I can go ahead and choose the file. Uh, I can attach it. And you'll notice the customizations total just went up to $399 here. So we've got a little gray customizations total box that shows the client how much they've customized so far. Um, if I want my last name on the back, you'll notice that total just went up again. So right now we've got a product price of $13.99, customizations total of $8.98. And I'm going to go ahead and click Add to Cart. And when I do, it's going to take me to the cart page. Uh, you should know that our app uh, doesn't carry charges properly to the cart unless the cart type setting on your Shopify admin is set to page. So currently, uh, we're going to be working on this, but right now our upcharge options don't work properly uh, with Ajax add to cart type functions, so special carts that pop up on the side of the screen. Um, some of those it does work with, but many of them it does not. And so we instruct our users to please change your uh, setting in your Shopify admin for your particular store's theme. Change the cart type to page. And that will make it so that the client is sent to the cart page as soon as they click Add to Cart. And in so doing, it makes the extra customization charges add properly into the cart. So again, we've got a total price here then of $22.97, and that includes these amounts. We got a subtotal of $22.97, and uh, it all displays quite nicely. It shows them the extra options that they've selected. They can also remove this from cart, do it all over again. What I especially want to show you though is as soon as we go to the checkout page, um, the display is a bit different. And this is surprising to some of our new app users. Uh, that this is a Shopify limitation. So in Shopify, um, Shopify allows app developers to modify the code on the product pages, on the cart page, but it does not allow us to modify the code on the checkout page. So you'll notice up here in the top right where it shows the product that they're ordering, it then breaks the charge back down into item customizations, so the additional that they're paying for those customizations, and then the base product price, and then it still shows the total. And of course, because it's the checkout page, your, your customer cannot modify this page. All they can do is add their info for payment, move forward, um, but they can't modify this stuff. So uh, what I want you to know is that this display is unfortunately not optional. Um, it has to show this way on any checkout page unless you are a Shopify Plus client. So if you have Shopify Plus, which is the premium uh, Shopify plan for you know bigger type stores, then we can modify the coding on this page. But for regular Shopify users, regular Shopify plans, Shopify Basic, etc., cetera, um, your customizations will show in this way only on the checkout page. So we found that, you know, Almost 5,000 app users currently, uh, many of them use this and have used it for years. Their clients um, have no problem with it. So uh, the average customer is really not going to have any problem with this particular display on their checkout page only when they're about to check out 
and purchase this product. So um, that should be good to go. They can always go back and modify uh, their selections, of course, by going back to the cart page, going back to any other page. But uh, that is the way it will display in the checkout page once they finish their order using our app. Thanks so much for your time, and uh, please email us to support at productcustomizer.com with any questions, and we're always here to help. Thanks so much.